Right, we're at the end of the holiday now, so I thought I'd do a little bit of summing up as to what we've learned about how to create electric solar powered motors to power your boat. And there's three key things about doing this, three key elements to the setup. One is the batteries, the other is the solar panels, and the third is the motors. So starting off with the batteries, we have two 110 amp hour batteries here. The solar charging from the four panels on the roof was excellent for this. So that kept them topped up. By the end of each day, you could be guaranteed if they hadn't been used, they would be completely topped up. So that worked very well and that went through these charge controllers here. And that was okay. It was fine for a couple of hours, even three hours of motoring during the night. But if I wanted to go all the way through the night at a reasonable speed, even two and a half, three knots, I'd want at least three times as much as this. So I'd want 300 amp hours of batteries and that would be six of these equivalent batteries, 24 volts. That would enable me to have 15 amps of current going through them for 10 hours a night with no trouble at all and that would just discharge the batteries halfway. So I'd want at least three times as much and I think we'd really need to be lithium batteries for that because otherwise these would be extremely heavy. Then the second thing is the solar panels. These solar panels were pretty much indestructible so they're great in terms of the power of the solar panels and how well they held up. So I had 15 solar panels arranged around the boat and that was enough to keep these motors going at the power that I wanted during a sunny day and easily enough to keep these batteries topped up if I wasn't using the motors. Two key things about this, one is where to situate them and I'm still working on that and the other one is how to wire them into the batteries. So we've got this junction box here which worked very well but we are wiring 12 volt panels into a 24 volt system and that was a little bit difficult. Now someone on YouTube suggested we use a voltage doubler which I'm going to look into and then you could get all the 12 volt panels going in at 12 volts use the doubler and go through to the batteries at 24 volts. So that's something I'm going to be looking into now, that and also how to situate the panels. But all in all, they stood up very well. There's, they've got a wooden back sheet to them. So even when one set of panels fell in as we were going past the Isle of Wight, it floated behind us and we were able to pick it up again and use it without any trouble after that. So then the third thing is these motors. Now we had a bit of trouble with the motors. We had two motors that stopped working here. These were my two most powerful ones, the 24 volt ones. And so I ended up using the two 12 volt ones, which actually powered me across the channel when I got this Guinness world record for going across the channel in the fastest time in a solar powered boat five years ago. And they worked perfectly this time as well on a much heavier boat. This boat's three tons and they managed to push it along at a couple of knots without too much trouble. But what I'd really want if I was going to use electric motors properly would be at least two of these big ones. So that would be really 2000 watts of motors. And to be really comfortable, I think I'd want two 2000 watt motors. And that would then give me the confidence that if one of them failed, the other one would still be able to power me without any trouble at all. So that's something I'll be looking into as well over this next year, over the winter, how I can get some more powerful motors and attach them to the boat and use them either with a 24 volt system or it might even be a 48 volt system that I use in the end. But that's something I'll look into over the winter and I'll keep you posted on YouTube. So in conclusion, 2000 watts of motors seems to be enough for this three ton boat. Although if I was going to be really safe, I'd probably want two 2000 watt motors just in case something goes wrong with one. For the solar panels, 15 of these 110 watt solar panels seem to be enough for what I was using, so that's 1,650 watts. I might want more if I had more powerful motors, but at the moment 1,650 watts seems to be enough. And having them on these plywood back sheets with the hinge down the long side seems to be the best for installing them. Then for these batteries, I think we'd want 600 amp hours of batteries really, so that's the equivalent of six of these batteries at 24 volts. So this is what I'll be working on over the next year. Do let me know if you've got any questions or any suggestions.